So it's time to finally break Burgundy and Aragon. And I don't know about breaking them, but really make them significantly weaker. And I don't know if they're ever going to be the same because I'm going to leave them with so much war exhaustion after this war. So we have 63 war score with Aragon. Let's see what he's willing to do to uh, get out of this. You're willing to give us one province, which isn't bad. I believe we have a claim on this province as well. Uh, we're going to pick up about... We're going to pick up some aggressive expansion. Uh, but the good thing is, we don't have too much right now. We could probably grab one of these provinces. I don't think it's a bad idea, because it is in my trade node. So, I guess I'll grab that. You're also going to re release Castile. I like that, although, more than likely, that's just going to go to Portugal at some point. Is there anything else I can ask? You can give us a bunch of ducats. What else happened? That's about it. Okay. Is there anything else we can ask of you? I know you won't release any of this stuff. Can you release Navarra? You don't want to release Navarra. You'd rather just give me that province. Annul treaties. Yes, annul with Brittany. Hmm. You're not willing to annul with Brittany. I guess I don't border Brittany. So I guess it's not a big deal that I, I, I make that happen. Can I humiliate? No, I don't have enough for that. And I can't even ask for war exhaustion. Okay, so let's just grab some ducats. And uh, let's just take what they offer. Uh, here, I'm going to grab some ducats though. That's for sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Let's let's, let's grab it. Okay, boom. Very nice. Uh, so cool. Now let's see what we got. I don't. I didn't even check this. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty crap province, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Let's make sure that. Oh, we can't. Let's not court yet. It's, I'm gonna pay more for it if I court now. And now we have a hundred percent with Burgundy. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Okay. So uh, what do we got? Suggest demands. What do you want? You're willing to give me, a, oh my gosh, you're willing to do so much right now. We're going to have to wait, I knew we were going to have to wait a little bit, and that's okay, but we are going to have to wait a bit because I don't have any diplomatic power uh, yet. Oh, good. Good, Aragon no longer considers Savoy as, as a rival. So we're, I guess we're, I don't know, I mean, we pissed off the Ottomans last in the last video, and that really sucks, but no big deal. So I thought I thought these guys were our vassal now. I think technically we're still at war with them, but maybe I, uh, I don't know. Technically I'm still at war with them, but I, I thought I, I, I told them to, I'm so confused right now. I thought I was like, hey bro, you're become, you're going to become my vassal. Or maybe I didn't do it. Oh. Dude, wait a second. How many, wait a second. I'm confused now. Oh, who, wait, 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 wait. What the heck just happened? Let me figure this out. So currently I am allied to, oh, I grabbed a whole separate vassal. Who is that? Oh, I, I mixed them up. This is my vassal. Very nice. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Yes, now this is the vassal of Savoy. I could also ask for these guys to be my vassal. I'd be over uh, diplomatic power, which I shouldn't do it right now because I need a lot of diplo power to uh, to peace out with the Burgundy here. You know, it might even be a good idea to... Am I close to the next military technology? Not, uh, kind of. I'm going to go ahead and raise war taxes. Now, while I raise war taxes, I'm going to kick this guy off. And then we will hire a level 2 trade efficiency. Sounds good to me. I like it. Just to get a little bit more diplomatic power, it'll it'll help. It'll help, and 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 it also it kind of we have, we should need to be prepared because my heir is even worse than my king at a three two two. I've been so I've had just the most basic kings as Savoy. It sucked so bad. It's been so bad. Okay, let's let's go in after here. Too bad someone can't let me borrow their their uh, diplomatic power. I guess that's what I get for uh, for for kind of. Choosing to go up with, uh, I guess, grabbing another diplomatic technology. I knew I shouldn't have done that, but I grabbed it anyways. Just tends to happen sometimes. Production efficiency, okay, good. We've saved our, we've saved our vassal. Might try to grab another one. Again, I'm pretty dang sure I'll be able to annex one right right away. Uh, again, this would, would this would for sure mean that you know what? No, why would I vassalize these guys? I'd much rather just annex them completely. Because I've got too many vassals anyways. Let's clear. I mean, what am I looking like if I just fully annex? 7.1 aggressive expansion. I'm going to pick a lot up from really nobody that matters. Brittany kind of matters, but that's about it. I'd have to pay diplomatic uh, points, though. 
which means I have to wait longer to peace out with Burgundy. It all has an impact here. Okay, let's definitely lose the money. For sure lose the money. What is that? Oh, Burgundy's accepted peace with Austria. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, is is Austria is Port Portugal still in the war with me? So that's fine, right? Technically, it is fine because... Wait a second. Did, did Austria force them to do something? No. No, they did not force them to do anything, I don't think. They just peaced out with them. Okay, that's that's fine. And also, I'm not getting a, uh, a hit here, I don't think. Competing great power. No, nothing happened from that. Okay, that's good. Let's, let's go ahead and improve relations too, just to make things safer. Now, Portugal has accepted peace. Okay, so it's just it's just me and you. It is just me. Oh, so I what is it? Is it is it Maybe it's is it the competing great power? I don't know, but I need to definitely improve with Portugal as well since we're just waiting here not doing anything. And I'd rather not pick up another province to add to my overextension already. Uh, I know that I can piece out these guys and, and grab that uh, right away, but I'd rather not add to it. Also, I didn't realize that I just went for admin technology. So it's good that we're going to sit here. We're sit here we're sit here by ourselves. I know that I have a call for peace and that's a little bit scary, but this is worth it. I'm telling you guys, I think this is going to be worth it. I think sitting here in this war and uh and waiting for the right time to take as much as we can will eliminate Burgundy so that, to the point where we don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, look, I mean Burgundy's at 20 war exhaustion. Dang. It, they're not going to survive. I don't even know if I want to take any provinces from Burgundy cuz more than likely they're going to completely split apart. I and, and another good thing about this is, you know, again, like I said, I'm I'm letting aggressive expansion tick down. Technically I am. Although I'm I'm building up with the Papal State. Ooh, ooh, it's starting to get Oh man, why is where to come from? I must have got a lot from taking this uh this Aragon land, but that, I had a claim on that too. So I mean, I would have done that either way, because I, I, I had the claim. Like, what else do they expect? I claimed the land and I took it in a war. Can't be that mad at me for it. I don't think. But you are. So maybe what I'll do instead, because maybe I'll let these guys go. That way we don't have to pay too much. We'll sever peace with these guys. Because, I mean, I can go to war with them at any point. Just make sure that they annul, annul their treaties and it's all good. Let's let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's take this back here. I'll, uh, but the only thing is, it, is it's, st it's still going to cost me. It's still going to cost me points in the uh, diplomatic category. How much is it? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so if you just annul your treaties, that's all I'm asking for. Pay me war reparations. Although, I'm pretty sure if I have them pay me war operations, this truce is going to uh, take a lot longer. And where's the truce at? Uh, this will last for 10 years. It's supposed to give me a truce. This deal will be established. Oh, truce. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I totally bypassed it. Okay. So, th okay, if I don't have them pay me war operations, then we're looking at still a very long time. So more than likely by that point, you know what? I don't even care. Give me this province. Bam. I'll take it from you. I probably won't be able to take anything from, from Burgundy now. And that's okay. Because the original plan was just have Burgundy release a whole bunch of crap. Okay. And now, uh, you want to royal marriage me? I don't think so. Now that we're getting more and more border tension, I think you're starting to feel a bit threatened. As you should. As you th should. Now, this these guys aren't going to give me anything. Let's just see what Burgundy wants. Let's see for peace. I don't think I even want any of their provinces. You know, I'd, I'd love to take this. That way I could possibly start to colonize. I've already just picked up a crap ton of, uh, of aggressive expansion, though. So I don't think I want any more, as well as 17 overextension. Also, I'd be able to lock off uh, Western Europe from Eastern Europe, which would be kind of cool. Or Western Europe from the middle of, of Europe. This isn't bad. I mean, how, what's what's my coalition looking like? What's my uh, aggressive expansion looking like? It's not that bad. I don't care about Burgundy. Burgundy can... Oh, well, I do care about England and the whole alliance that's going on. And the alliance does not like me. Okay, so let's just not take anything from Burgundy here. More than likely, they're going to revolt and, and have a whole crap load of issues. Let's go to have them... Let's just have them release a bunch of nations. How many can we have them uh, release? Just release everything, man. Keep, uh, let's see, maybe keep some of that. I mean, can you know some of your treaties? I don't care about that. 
Uh, someone already made you kind of forfeit all your vassals, so that's good. We don't really need tra transfer trade power. I could I could humiliate them. War operations, give me a whole bunch of money. You're still looking like, I, I looks like I still might be a little bit, oh, we'll be fine. Next month, then we'll, we'll have the points. Can I, can, I try, can I try to get you to do anything else? It doesn't look like we're, it looks like we might be asking for a little bit too many ducats. But we might be able to land something here. Yeah, that would be a good province to take. Yeah, and then and then I'll ask for ducats for the rest. Okay, yeah, so what can we get to 100 here? Ah, that's going to cost me 210 now. That is going to cost me 210. Well, let's increase the speed and just grind this sucker out. I am at 172 right now. Do I want to wait this long? I mean, I think it's worth it. We might as well do it. We might as well do it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Burgundy's done. Uh, now we need to focus on the Alliance. We need to really, really focus on the Alliance here. Because we're going to be in some trouble. I'm sure there's going to be... Well, we, the good thing is we're not getting any aggressive expansion or overextension. Ooh. After the uh, after Emperor Regency Council rejected the Protestant confessional positions at the Imperial Parliament, uh, the Protestant Imperial Estates formed the League. Uh oh, yep, the League. So look at what is that the, again? The uh, the Protestant wars are about to happen in the HRE, Religious League member. Austria has joined the uh, Catholic League. Oh my gosh, against the common foes in the Empire. Wow. Okay, boom. Let's try. Let's, let's, let's grab this country modifier is gone, and boom, we're done. Okay, so. Finally, jeez, military tech. Let's grab this and let's let's do our let's do our stuff here. Let's just kind of I I, I look at thing is I, I got some I got enough points to core this right now. I've got a lot of war exhaustion, but I can pay this next month. I can pay to reduce this, and I probably will because it's kind of ridiculous. I'm sure we're gonna we have some huge rebel problems that are actually I mean my national unrest is only plus three point eight uh three point eight three. But you're looking at uh, it's not bad. I don't need to reduce it. I think I think I might play I might, I play, might play a little dangerously here. I'm not going to reduce it. We'll see what happens. Aragon's broken their alliance with Castile. Okay. Let us mothball our forts. I hope I hopefully won't be in any wars anytime soon. I have a bunch of manpower, so that's good too. Uh, what was I looking for here? Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so what, what can we upgrade? Don't even know. Okay, so we can get some more artillery units. Let's go for some defensive pips. I like the defensive pips as Savoy because technically we haven't really been able to uh, kind of fight any wars too defensively. We haven't really had to, um, I guess, at all at this point because, well, I guess France isn't alive anymore, and, and usually you have to fight those defensive war when, when, when France is alive, but uh, that is not the case, and I don't know. I mean... I like to go for the defensive pips as Savoy because usually you're playing defensively. You're having these battles um, and you're playing extremely defensively, but we haven't really had to do that too much. Okay, let's grab the good general, put him in here, take out these rebels. Boom, going after him. Oh, oh, look, you did, you did it yourself. Good job. And I believe I am over... I'm not over diplomatic relations. That's right, because I, I took these guys down real fast. Cool, I forgot about that. So who's a better province to get a hold of? I'm thinking these guys because they would only increase my power in the Genoa trade node. Oh, no, they're both in the Genoa trade node. Oh, cool. So this problem seems a little bit more developed. Uh, so let's try to annex them. Can I do it yet? I need uh, 100, 190 opinion. Oh, I can't even annex these guys even if, even if I wanted to. It, it's got to be 10 years. I don't know why I forgot that. Don't want to lose stability. Definitely not. I don't have to pay for it to boost back up. Great Britain is, uh, uh-oh, they're already declaring war on natives. And actually, we can kind of see over here. That's cool. Funge is doing good just south of the Mamluks. They actually might have a pretty good game since the Ottomans are kind of expanding more and more into, uh, into Mamluk territory. And we're improving relationships with uh, Portugal. Portugal seems a little bit more happy with me. We're no longer a competing great power, so we don't get that penalty anymore. How about Austria? Do we still have that? Yes, we still have that with Austria. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this whole Protestantism. As we expected, usually Protestantism is kind of uh, forming in spots that we figured. There's a few reform spots, though, too. Interesting. 
Actually, they're in my lands. What the what the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention. They are totally in my lands. I've got a bunch of reformed provinces. What is going on here? I don't I don't want to I didn't I didn't ask for this. I did not sign up for this. Didn't want to play a reformed game. It's weird. Okay, I'm making money again. That's good. Uh, uh oh, looks like my king died. Do we have a good error? Oh my gosh, it gets worse and worse every single time. Every single error we get here. From now on, it's just more and more sucky. Getting these sucky ass errors. Jeez. It's frustrating. What's going on here? I've got too many, uh, too many powers here. We probably need to kick somebody. I'm thinking, man, I don't know about this. I like the maneuver. Oh, man, both these guys are good. I don't want to be making only five uh, military power per, per month, though. Who am I going to kick? I think we need to kick, keep, keep the uh, two fire, two shock, and one siege. Yeah, because maneuver is nice, but, I mean, two fire, two shock. You got to, yeah, I mean, two fire, two shock. What, I mean, that's... That's real nice. Fire is good now because we have a few artillery units. And I think our army composition is still doing pretty good. Uh, we could use a little bit more, a little bit more cal uh, artillery units. I guess a few more are cavalry as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see some uprisings. That's going to happen. We also really need to get our force limit up. And you know what? I have the manpower to do that and the money. So we should definitely, we should definitely do that. So yeah, 2020. We got 220 stacks. How old is the heir? He's 26. Okay, good. So let's figure out what kind of uh, king I have as a general. Not bad. Okay, so you'll be in charge of this army here. So it's like we didn't even get rid of a general. We're fine. So again, like I said, I think we need a little bit more artillery units. And uh, cavalry. So we might make like one cavalry. Maybe two artillery. And maybe like two infantry. We'll try to divide that up evenly. If we don't, well, whatever. So there we go. So it looks like we we're going to add on almost, we're going to get almost to 50. Now, if my economy wasn't doing too well beforehand, it's going to be doing really bad now. And I don't want to lower my uh, my army maintenance because I have a feeling that more than likely we're going to have to fight some rebels soon. Because I, I would much rather not have to tick down uh, my war exhaustion. What's the supply limit here? We probably won't be able to make, oh, here we go. Supply limit's 44 up this way. Finally, okay, so good. We can probably start to annex these guys. Because uh, the annex subject penalty is no longer, no longer affecting us. Who is this? Uh, I, guess, I, don't, I don't care. We don't need this. We're annexing you, man. We are totally annexing you. And let's continue to improve relations with Austria. Get that up as high as we can. Because I don't think we've... Yeah, we're not total. We're only at 68 improved relations. We need to get that up to 100. Much rather that, that be at 100... Uh, we'll annex these guys. Get these guys in that territory. Boom and boom. I think uh, the Papal State is, is kind of focused on my eyes next. I want the Papal State next. I guess they're not focused on my eyes. They're not staring me right in the eyes, at least. What is this? Gang Prestige. That's fine. You can you can have a bad opinion of me all you want now. I don't care. You're going to be annexed in uh, three years. Three years. And that's going to free up a slot. Again, I think we have a very high relationship with Denmark. Uh, would they? Yes, they would be willing to accept an alliance offer right now. I don't think I don't really plan on kind of grabbing any more vassals anytime soon. Anyways, let's lose papal influence for the fifty administrative uh, power. I like that. Good, good, good. Fixing this overextension is going to be gone. War exhaustion is ticking down. Awesome. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, how long is the truce with with Aragon? We've got a while, looks like. Yeah. Uh, 60, 67. 1567. That's too bad. Has Portugal named Aragon a rival? No. Yes, they have. Good. So Portugal might be willing to help us just completely and utterly destroy Aragon. I, I hope that Portugal is able to actually destroy their navy next time because I want Sardinia Piedmont. That's what I want. I want to form that nation. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Um, I think, I think the Pope is kind of the next nation we need to go to war with, but we might not. We'll see. We'll have to see how bad, uh, Burgundy does in these next few coming months or years. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.